Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a visual like this in Excel where you've got one column chart embedded within the other one. So I came across this chart on the Brewers Association website and it's really cool. It shows uh, brew pub openings and closings and you know for the, since 20, 2010 you know there have been more openings than closings so this, this has a nice effect to it where you've always got this lighter green or teal color always smaller than the darker blue darker darker green so you've got that nice effect where you can see the one smaller value and how how much it makes up of the larger one and so my goal for this video is to recreate this chart in excel so i've already copied the data over in, into a spreadsheet here so i've got the opening and closing values and so i'm going to start with just creating a, a bar chart so just select anywhere on the data, go to insert, or not a bar chart, but a column chart, and just select the standard 2D column chart. And what I'm gonna do is actually change the, change the chart type because I wanna use a secondary axis. Because the point is, I wanna have these values on, as you can see, sharing the same, uh, same series values. So I want them, or the same year values, so I want them all on uh, on one one column, sort of overlapping with one another. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now, so I've got that effect. Now the one thing I still need to adjust is, you'll notice this axis goes up to 500, but this one only goes up to 250. So I need to adjust that just because, you know, the scales are gonna be off and it's not gonna be um, accurate. So I'm gonna format the axis here. And all I need to do is just update this maximum right here. Here it's 250, I want it to match this 500. So set that to 500. And now we've got something uh, looking a bit better because now we've got exact, um, all the values lining up um, identically. And the one thing I'm gonna do now, I don't wanna see both of, these, um, both of these scales, so I'm just gonna use a white color and it's gone, it disappears. Um, one other thing I'm gonna do is adjust the gap so I'm going to format data series and change the gap width. I always like to shrink this down just so we get rid of that uh, white space. Do the same for for both of them. Save it to about 50%. And so it's a bit uh, a bit less white space um, on here. But actually, the one thing I'm going to do is on this outer one, I'm going to change that gap width a little bit. I'm going to shrink it so it's a bit fatter. All right, so maybe not 5%, but let's say maybe, let's say 15%. So now we've got that sort of embedded effect. We've got this, this other one, this orange one, and I can make this make these gaps a bit bigger, let's say to 65. There we go, so we've got, now we've got that nice effect where it looks like one's embedded within the other. So as you can see, a really simple thing to do, and at this point, the only thing um, you know left for me to do would be just to, um, update the color values if I really wanted to match this up with um, the original. So to do that, I could go to um, change the change the fill color and select more fill colors. And if you've got the exact um, RGB value as I've got, so for the closings, I know that it's uh, 107, 175, 172. You've got that teal sort of color and do the same thing here. Here we go to more colors, custom. So what you can do is if you've got a color picker tool, you can do that. So you've got a really similar setup as so you can get the exact same color that you want. And you know, we can add other chart elements like for example, um, the grid lines, we've got the major vertical ones as well. And so now, if I compare this to the original, you know, we've got a pretty similar looking effect here. As you can see, we've got the vertical, we've got the horizontal, we've got the colors looking pretty, pretty close to, to spot on here. So as you can see, not really hard to, to create this effect on in, in Microsoft Excel. The main thing you're gonna wanna do is just make sure that uh, that they're both on the same scales. Use a secondary axis so that they're they're sharing the year, so they're not side by side. So put them on 
uh, their own axis, but make sure the scale is identical. And then when you've done that, adjust the gap width. So the larger one, the one, that one is gonna have a smaller gap width. So in other words, small, uh, less white space. And then these smaller column charts are gonna have a larger gap width. So the gap width is, you know, how, how much of a width there is between, you know, uh, one column and and the next so you want that space to be larger than the space for these outer ones Just so you've got that sort of embedded effect. So I thought that was a really cool chart to Recreate and uh, yeah, if you ever come across something that you thought you'd be uh, You'd like to see if we can do that in Excel feel free to Shoot me a message and send me a link and I'll have a look at have a look at it because I think you know these are cool things you can create in Excel and as you can see not terribly complicated to to build and just give you um you you know a new way to show your data as opposed to the same old bar or column chart over and over again so hope you found that useful and thanks for watching